Hey YouTube, uh, this is David Richter Scale Studios. This is part 10. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show of it. I'm at my uh, favorite local game store, you call it. This is Great Escape Games in Sacramento. Uh, not too busy of a day, but it's a big place. I'm going to give you like a panoramic. Giant. And let's go whack around, going slow, 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 slow. There's a store, it's all up there, probably about maybe 3,000 square feet. And we got a role playing room back there, and there's all kinds of space all around us. So uh, I'm going to start uh, airbrushing the uh, stonework. So, um, I don't know if I'll be able to set this up and be able to show it to you. I'll show you step by step if I can. So I will see you in the next part. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I'm back. Uh, we're still on part nine here. I went in and uh, airbrushed. What color was that? I think it was heavy gray by Game Color. And that's going to be the start of the cobblestone. This will be eventually washed and filtered with uh, oil paints to change the color variation. Then we'll do some hard edge highlighting. And then the stone is a mixture of uh, uh, Muddy Master, uh, Muddy Brown, and uh, Tony Gow with some light grays. So kind of like having a red tone, and see what he did in there with some light. And uh, we're going to go and probably uh, do some um, highlighting each of the middle of the stones. That'll be nice and tedious. And then we'll probably do some maybe dry brush and uh, edge, eye, edge highlighting of the stuff work. And uh, we'll be back and show you uh, our progress. Thanks for joining. Hey, I'm back real quick. I uh, finished the airbrushing on the bricks. Then I went in and took a light flesh color and mixed it in with the gray and uh, uh, brought it up with some white. And I uh, took a small, uh, the best thing to work with was with, uh, a GW, uh, where is it? A uh, GW dry brush, uh, medium size. It went on to the top of the stones to catch the light on them. And I think we did a pretty good job with that. And uh, did the backs. So let me just check this out the light off too. Maybe not. There you go. So you can see how the brickwork's popping out. I'm going to hit this with a pledge future varnish. And then uh, do an oil wash on it, protect it. And we'll get to the concrete. Hopefully, get that done sometime during this during this section. See you on YouTube. I am back. Uh, we're getting closer and closer. Um, I'm going to be working more on the uh, cobblestones. You see, I got them uh, edge highlighted and oil washed for the depth. Then I'm going to go in with a color filter on each stone to kind of bury them a little bit. So uh, the uh, rock work is done. We're still going to have to do the cement work. Hopefully, get that today. And I just did this. I did a, um, I guess, a basic skeleton for the sewage flow coming out of the pipe. So basically some brass wire and some plastic card. And I'm going to coat that in some green stuff and go from there. So as usual, uh, thank you for joining me and we'll see you in a few. Hey, I'm back real quick. I'm just going to show you the quick setup. What I'm going to do is uh, take small dots of all these different oil paints and put them on each of the cobblestones. We go in with a uh, turbinoid and just flush them off so it'll leave a filter. So a slight color differential on each stone. And this is like some cheap Reeves paint. I think I bought this at uh, Walmart for my travel kit. Like 10 bucks, so probably get it $8 for the hobby store. So uh, I'll be back and show you what it looks like with all the uh, dots on, then we'll start uh, blending. See if you can. Yeah. And back. Okay, there you go. There's all the little, oh no, it's okay. All the dots. And then I'm gonna go in and start uh, blending. See you in a second. Yeah. Okay, I'm in right now. It's going to start. I'm like, you don't want to pour this, do you? Alright. That's about it right there. Okay. It might be a little too big, to be honest. So then take your... your, your so it almost disappears? I think I'll keep that. It's okay. Yeah, i got to clean the water. So if you get any idea... Excuse the iPhone work. So I'm going to uh, finish doing this and come back and show you what it looks like. Thanks again for joining us. This is the back real quick, and this is uh, so far doing. Just kind of blending it and playing with it to get uh, more of a natural color. But you can see the big color variations are already showing up. And I'm going to work on this more and just come back and show it to you. Thanks. We're back real quick. So you can see the color there. So it kind of has a natural stone look to it, like river rock, cobblestone. And that'll be the end of this. We're going to seal it up and uh, start working on 
the uh, concrete areas all through here. And we'll see in a few. Hey, we're back. We're back at my uh, home studio. Um, that was fun at Great Escape Games for spent two days painting on it. Um, you'll notice one thing. I did a, another oil, like a solid dark brown black oil filter over the rock because it was getting too colorful, but it gave it a lot more natural look. And also the oil got into the, um, uh, give it more depth. And uh, I also, I attempted to use some of this weathered wood crackle medium which I've seen, I think it's good in small doses or for like craft stuff. I tried to make it look like cracked concrete and it looked like chip paint. So um, that's what it's supposed to look like. I think um, I've seen it used by uh, Mr. Justin on his uh, cars and stuff for crack leather. That's awesome because it's a small, maybe a half inch by half inch space with the crackles in it. It gives that thing. But this looked like crackled old paint coming off of this. And this is supposed to be a sewer cement. So um, I basically just went in and I'm using Ceram coat paints on this because I uh, was not wanting to use the airbrush again and masking it. So I just went and brushed on some uh, Ceram coat charcoal and I'm going to um, airbrush some lighter colors over it to give it a little more, uh, some highlight to it. And then you can see the low lights. So let's see where, right there. I want to keep this dark under there. I might go in with something else. Then I'm going to maybe do some like brass and coppers on these things um, and go from there so I'm gonna load up the airbrush and uh, this uh, you know, do it off camera I know what it will look like and um, I'll see you in a second or I might come back uh, depends on what kind of mood I'm in I'm trying to get this thing done I supposed to be done by next uh, this Sunday I don't know what's gonna happen but uh, we'll see in a few. Thanks. Okay, we're back. Um, what I did, I just went in with um, that lighter color, mixed it up uh, with some alcohol uh, water mix, and this feathered in some highlights. This I just kind of lighten around there and up into this area. So this gives a little bit of a two-tone look to it, and then on the top, obviously. And then I just did a hard edge light headlight. Looks like you know it's like cracked cement. So I don't even really see that on camera. Yeah, I guess you can see it. Just little edges of, of light just to uh, give it some interest. I'm going to hit it with some um, pledge. And then I'm going to go and give it an oil wash to get these uh, depths back around the rocks. And then uh, we'll finish the detailing there. And then we'll go in and paint the uh, um, bronze or copper details, the pipe and that. And then uh, we will go on to where you have to... Uh, Sculpt, oh, sculpt the uh, sewage coming out of the pipe. Um, I showed you that, I believe. I'll be back in a second and just have this all set up real quick and show you what it looks like, and then we'll move on to part 11. Okay, here it is real quick, all put together, and um, I think I've showed this while I was at the game shop. Uh, that is a wire, it's kind of a wire um, model for the uh, sewage that's going to be dripping in there. It'll be little bubbles coming out, and it's basically just some copper wire with some very old plastic art sign I found. Just uh, chipped at it just to make a, a, a small uh, um, base for it because basically I think it stand up on its own but well, that'll be just kind of like just slowly dripping out of there and we'll see how that works out so um, when we come back we're going to start working on the uh, the bronze and our coppery things and I might actually paint them real copper uh, just give them more of a metallic thing because this has got real metallics in it and there's non-metallics on the miniatures so I'll keep the base all metallic and then the miniatures will showcase my attempt at non-metallic metals. So as usual, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in part 11.